Senator, member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, Senator Lindsey Graham, goes on the record. Good evening, sir. Thank you. Uh, I guess it's, it's no surprise to you that this has happened, is it? <laughs> No, what have I been saying for two years? The bottom line here is the, the goal is to destroy ISIL. If we don't destroy them, they're going to hit us here. If we don't come up with a ground component to go into Syria and Iraq uh, to take back the land they hold, we're going to get attacked here. They're planning attacks against our country as I speak. So you suggested if you see something, say something. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I see 40,000 jihadists in Iraq and Syria that are intent on attacking the United States and destroying our way of life. And we don't have a strategy to deal with that. If we don't come up with a ground component, we're never going to beat these guys from the air. All right. Um, Pre President Obama is not coming home to the United States. He's heavily criticized because he didn't go to Paris. And when, when uh, Charlie Hebdo attack mm. happened and marched <clears throat> with all the world leaders, should the president come home or should he continue his trip to Argentina? I could care less where it goes. If he doesn't change his strategy, nothing's going to change. He could go and sit in the Pentagon until January of 2017. If we don't come up with a regional army to destroy this uh, ISIL army, they're going to hit us here in America. The only way you beat an army is with another army. We don't have a game plan to destroy ISIL. He's trying is to run out the clock and pass this on to the next president. With all due respect to Senator Cruz, you're not going to destroy ISIL by carpet bombing them to uh, Donald Trump, you're not going to destroy ISIL by shutting off the floor of refugees out of Syria to us in the world. The only way you're going to destroy ISIL is to get a ground component, an army, go in on the ground and kill these guys before the attack is here. How many more attacks do we have to suffer before we understand yeah. we're not winning? All right, Senator, on the campaign t today, <laughs> the uh, candidates were consumed with the horrific news of these attacks in Brussels. Today, our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Brussels. Today, of course, is a sad day for the entire civilized world. In my opinion, this is just the beginning. It will get worse and worse because we are lax and we are foolish. We are foolish. This is a war with radical Islamic terrorism. I'm a little surprised that the president is going to a baseball game. Had I been president, I would have cut short my visit. Their target is each and every one of us. And as the candidates react to the terrorism news out of Europe, polls are closing in just hours in both Utah and Arizona. Senator, you are supporting Senator Ted Cruz, but uh, yes. I just heard you make the remark about, with all due respect, Senator Cruz, carpet bombing isn't going to work or something to that effect. Um, that surprises me that you criticize him that way. <laughs> Well, I like Ted. I think he's a better alternative to Trump. He's a real Republican, and I think he understands the threat better than Trump. But did, did you hear from anybody a game plan to destroy ISIL? I know exactly where they are. I know exactly how many they are of them. I know what they're up to. So what I would like is for us as Republicans to come up with an alternative to Obama's strategy. And that alternative is create a regional army, 90 percent from the region, 10 percent us, and go and into Syria and Iraq and kill these guys before they attack us. And I, and I might note that we haven't <laughs> carpet bombed in decades and Senator Cruz still hasn't walked that one back. But anyway, Senator, thank you, sir.